Hi everyone. This question right here, in this sorry, in this question right here, I'm being asked to evaluate this without the use of a calculator. Okay. Now notice I've got five base five to log base fives here. So something's going to cancel real quick here. But I really can't do this until I got the, the exponent as a single exponent here. So this is going to be five to the log base five of okay. Well, it's going to be 100 because in order to combine these two logarithms together, the first thing I got to do is get rid of that exponent. So this is going to be minus log base 5 of 2 squared. Okay, because I can take that coefficient and make it an exponent inside the logarithm. Okay, good. That's a good start. Still, 5 to the log base 5. Now what I can do is I can combine these two logarithms. There's subtraction in between. Subtraction between logarithms becomes division within a logarithm. So this will become 100, okay, divided by 4. So this is going to become 25. Now, I've got this as one logarithm here. There's a couple of different rules that would apply here. First of all, a power of 5 to a log base 5 is going to cancel. I, I have that rule written way over here, okay. It would be the log base a of a to the n is equal to n. So on one hand, I could write this simply as 25. And that, that's true. That works. Additionally, I could identify that the log base 5 of 25 is going to be 2 and 5 squared is 25. In either case, I'm going to get to that value of 25.